Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it a ton. Because I'm in Michigan and I'm in Detroit and I'm a huge car guy, I'm gonna go to the Detroit Autorama, which happens to not be that far because I am at Wayne State right now. I just uh, took a quiz in differential equations. Not happy about it. Um, I just don't like taking tests, period. Let's head over to the Detroit Autorama. tell by that time lapse I started driving around in circles the Greek town casino parking is usually self parking for free today it's 40 bucks Detroit's trying to screw me out here on parking rates well I found this parking garage right here for uh, seven dollars for 24 hours so screw it all right got my people mover token I'm really upset there is no Detroit auto show in the winter. That was like what kept me going as far as like as far as like being a car guy in the winter. That was what kept me going, but there's no Detroit Auto Show, so I guess Autorama is the only thing I can go to. I'm also helping out a ton with Waterford Hills, which I will talk about when I get there. So I will see you very shortly. Helping out Waterford. I did a lot of help for Waterford Hills as far as um, social media goes this year, um, which you guys will see momentarily. So they gave me a pass, and I'm super excited. Just like do whatever, whatever I want. That's not true at all. I can't do that at all. All right, here we are. I'm gonna go find Waterford Hills, and then we'll go take a look at all these fancy-looking cars. Holy shit! This is. I'm in love with this already, and I've only been in here for like a couple of seconds. I'm gonna go find Waterford Hills though. Oh, Trans Am. I, I, I have to mention this before I cut the video because this is like, it's one of my dream cars right here. I'm not sure what motor it has in it. It doesn't, it doesn't really say. I don't know. My, one of my dream cars though is a Pontiac Trans Am with a 455 in it. What? Why not? So you're at the SCCA booth. Where is Waterford Hills? Here it is, Waterford Hills booth. So I have not seen that thing. I have not seen either of these two cars before, but I do recognize the fit, which now has a fantastic-looking wrap on it. We got, is that a C3? Yep. <laughs> we got the winner of the T1, uh, of T1 when I was at Waterford Hills the race day. So that's this car right here. Good old Rob Brill. <laughs> you guys, oh, Rob Brill. So if you guys recognize any logo on this footage right here, this is my video. I oh, recorded, really? this is my recording. So this was the race day right now that they're showing. Um, I ended up, um, putting about 13 or so videos together that are gonna be looping through all day. So what's gonna end up happening is, is all these videos that I created for Waterford Hills, Waterford Hills Road Racing, all those videos are gonna be uploaded to my YouTube channel starting tomorrow, because this is recorded. So I'm here on a Friday, this is, this will be up on Saturday, and then every video, all 13 videos, one a day, will be up for the next two weeks. So, and then I am actually gonna be recording another video with Nick here um, today about Waterford Hills cars and such in the booth. So that will be up uh, the day after all those race videos are going to be up. Wow, that's a lot of zoom. All right, so I probably spent the last, I don't know, two hours 
three hours at Waterford Hills booth just helping out. There's, I mean, I got this pass for two reasons. One, to help out, and because I did all the footage for them. Not all of it, I did a lot of footage. So I'm just gonna look around, you know, talk. So we got Andrew over here at, at Rhino Dino. Uh, he'll be at High Octane a couple times this year. Yes, sir. So I don't know, just looking. It's a really cool looking fox body. Roof is completely off. Powder coating. That looks really nice. I've always been really interested in the way it like, it, it just like stops. Got some more Mustangs over here. I want to mention this is also my first time at Autorama. Um, so this is this is a completely different experience for me as far as what's here because when I go to the auto show, it's I know what's going to be there. It's going to be a bunch of stock looking cars that are all just, you know, new production years. I'm looking at all these cars confused and lost because I mean, this would never be at the auto show. This is sweet. I don't know what half these cars are. I mean, it's, it's a Marquette, I think is how you pronounce it, but that's just incredible looking. It's running pretty quick too. I think this is a Shelby. I'm sorry, I really, I really don't know anything. Like I'm, I'm staring at all these things. Like I'm, what am I looking? Like I really don't know what I'm looking at here, honestly. Look at this thing. That's incredible. This, I know this is a Camaro, that I know. I love classic Camaros. I don't think this camera can do that. this paint job justice. It looks incredible. What you're seeing on camera is not at all what I'm looking at right now. I wish you guys could see what this thing looked like. It is incredible. It's got suicide doors too in the back. That is sweet. This is what it's supposed that's to look like. Hold on, let's see if the camera can focus. There we go. That's what this car is supposed to look like. That's a 55 Coupe de Ville. This thing looks incredible. Both of those cars look incredible. It took a two door like this and made into a Okay. That's awesome. But Thank I like you. it better stock. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, these tires are so fat. Oh my god. That little tiny skinny boys up front. Oh my god. This has the blower. Call it. Called the Beast. Holy crap! I don't know why those tires are. I wish I could really do just do this place justice. Like it is so huge. I'm really glad I'm doing this on Friday. So I will actually be back here tomorrow with Zach. I doubt I'm vlogging because it is going to be so packed. I'm also going to be doing a lot more water for hills work. Um, but it is just so incredibly large here and just all the awesome things they're showing like I can't, I could never do it justice speakers do some really cool wonky lighting oh this thing's on air ride or a hydraulic ride I'm sorry uh, oh no it is air ride okay that's sweet Oh, the doors go up. Wait, you got four Lambo doors. Whoa. Look at that. It's really cool graphics on the inside. Superman. Wonder Woman. That's pretty cool. Kind of, it kind of matches like the whole Superman theme too, as well with the the red and the blue. Oh, it's a Grand Sport as well. So. Oh. Oh, my day just got made. They have a Ford GT, an IMSA Ford GT. This thing looks so good. Let's see if I can get this thing all in, in one shot. There we go. This thing looks so good. What the hell am I looking at? That is that is amazing. Is this still got an LS in it? Oh my God! Or an LT? It's still got an LT in it. This is still got a stock motor. What the hell? Look at the the hell? They made a Camaro one too. Hold on, they made a Camaro one. 
like a road course built Ranger. Look at this thing. That is awesome. Oh my God, it's a Supra. I'm, I'm just going around trying to do my best to show you all these cars, but like, there are periods of time where like, like I was just talking to that guy with the, with the uh, Ranger, and I was just talking to him about like racing stuff. Like I'll just go and like stop recording the talk. Because this is honestly so much fun, just being here. Wheelie bars, woo woo. Holly EFI, okay. This is done by a high school, what the hell? Dude, this thing is. Yeah. This thing is sweet. That is incredible. Just the scale of this. this uh... I can't take. I mentally can't take all of this in. This is... Dude, oh my god. I love old classic trucks like this. That is awesome. All right, so I also came downstairs uh, just to see what's going on here. Whoa, that's cool. Those lights are cool. That's awesome. Love the little skeletons. Oh, so they're actually building a car right now. Oh, that's neat. Rustic look. God, I love a good black paint job. I just, when it comes out shiny, it looks so good. The fact that I can see myself, I love that. Oh, that hurts my knees. My knees, by the way, are not any better. Despite what I said in the snowboard video, it's been Six weeks since that video was actually recorded, my knees are way worse, just FYI. So I should probably sit down at some point because I've been standing for the last four hours. It's okay, I'm only 20, I'll live. Oh, it's like a, it's a dually. That's cool. That paint job looks awesome. Oh, both of these do. Skellingtons. Look at that. Surfboards. Ooh, I like this. Oh, he's got skeletons all over it. <laughs> I agree. The Dodge Demon before there was the Dodge Demon. Ooh, look at the size of the blower on this thing. Dang, pops, wheelies, and everything. Ah, glare, of course. There we go, go. No. Okay, so it's about five o'clock. This is take like four, by the way, me trying to say this. It's about five o'clock, and people are about to start getting off of work. So I'm gonna go get some food right now. And then after I get some food, I'm gonna go back to the Waterford booth because it is about to get hella packed inside because it's a Friday and everyone's getting off work. So, I was trying to find these guys earlier. This is the uh, Midget, the Michigan Midget Racing Association. These guys actually run, there's a little circle track right outside of Waterford Hills that these guys actually run. Really bar. I can't pass staring at something like this. Holy crap. I sat down for the first time in like about five hours. I don't really know what's uh, gonna be happening, but I got a slice of pizza and I got some Pepsi. I'm a Coke person, but they don't have Coke here, which sucks for me. I don't know what's gonna happen the rest of the time. I'm gonna try to inhale this slice of pizza and then go back over to the Waterford booth and just see where it goes from there. Um, honestly, I, I think I'm done vlogging um, for today but I'm not 100% bothered, so. I will see you later though, to like, end the video. Dogs are more important than cars. Smile. Yeah, she does real well. She's learning not to pay attention to people that are petting her. Oh, Hi there. Okay. No, you can, no, this is 
is how we learn, though. Hi. Yeah, yes, you're so still cute. learning. Public with someone with vision impaired, he has to pay complete attention. Okay, so I just saw this thing and it looked really cool, so I, I decided that I was gonna show it. But 1959. Oh, it's a C1. It just looked not like a C1 from where I was looking at it. It's got a C7. I'm very confused by this vehicle. What? Powered by an LT4. Okay. One off front and rear end and fabrication. Okay, that explains a lot because this is not your average C1 Corvette. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna be heading out. I'm tired. I've been here for about eight hours now. Like I said, I can't get the full grasp of everything. So if you want to, I will be back here tomorrow, um, probably processing a little bit better. Um, it's, it's nice when you get a free pass and you can get in, you know, for free. So I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not gonna be vlogging though. So if you are interested in seeing more footage, uh, definitely make sure to check out Zach Show Off 3.4 and his YouTube channel, as well as over the course of the next about 13 to 14 days, I will be uploading all the videos that were in Waterford Hills booth. So all those videos will be playing and all those will be there. So definitely make sure to subscribe and check those out. I did have a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's, it, this is gonna be a very difficult video to make just because there was just so much going on. I, I'm honestly very overwhelmed by a lot of what was there. It's, it was really cool. I'm not gonna lie about that, but I don't really know what was going on. So guys, if you did like this video, please make sure to like, comment, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And guys, I will catch you in the next video.